Hi. Uh, welcome to our podcast. Thank you, Helen. Um, yeah, my name is Helen Gray. Uh, I'm from Iceland, and uh, we are going to be talking a little bit about the importance of staff mobility through the Erasmus funding program. And um, like I said, I'm from Iceland. Uh, I work for a training center uh, with uh, mainly adults that have already completed their vocational education, so we're in further vet. So, Lena, can you tell a little bit about yourself? For sure. My name is Lena. I come from Denmark, the southern part of Denmark, very close to Germany. I come from a vocational training center, so we educate all apprentices in almost every vet program. Uh, and we also do upper secondary and IB. But mm. for today, it is VET in focus. VET in focus, definitely. And actually, we are in Barcelona. So we are. <laughs> <laughs> and, so uh, outside, it's very nice. <laughs> outside, it's very nice. And uh, and we are here, actually, because we have been participating in a Erasmus-funded program, and we have been focusing on staff mobility and the importance of staff mobility. And our little project is called Mobinov. Yes, I got it correct this yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and we really um, burn for this yes, we subject. Do. And, yes, uh, we do. That is why we feel it's important to kind of throw this message out into the air that if you are working in vocational education and training, teacher, um, professional, uh, connected to vocational education and training, and you have the opportunity to go on a staff mobility, we are the people to speak to. So... Um, Maybe I should just ask Lena from the Danish perspective, why did you kind of come into this project, uh, Staff Mobility? What was it that kind of sparked your interest in, in participating in Mobinov? First of all, it's actually the network. That you, you know people in Europe, you have a good cooperation with them already. Mm -hmm. And it's a way to expand your network. It's a way to... Uh, get more inspiration into your only daily operation mm -hmm. of, of mobilities and staff mobilities. Mm -hmm. So it was a chance to have a focus on the quality in staff mobilities mm -hmm. in a, an existing uh, network mm -hmm. and also in our own daily operation mm -hmm. because we do staff mobilities mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. So it was a matter of having a focus there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Uh, from an Icelandic perspective, like you say, um, it's this creation of a, a network of partners that you can trust. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. uh, when you uh, are um, planning a staff mobility, it takes a lot of work. And you it really, does. And, and, yes. and, and people that go on a staff mobility, mm. they have to get something out of it. Yeah. What's yeah. the benefit? Yes, So it does. it's yeah. so important that we have yeah. good partners that uh, are focusing on... Uh, we might have a, a problem in Iceland that uh, we need solutions and then we can come to Denmark mm, mm. and say, how, how are you yeah, doing this yeah, or that? Yeah. And, so and networks yeah. are really important because, as you said, it is about trust and it is about, you mm -hmm. know, if you know someone, it's a lot easier mm -hmm. to have mm -hmm. a continuous ongoing work mm -hmm. that can broaden out to staff, mm -hmm. to students and even management mm -hmm. To, to be good partners in your international cooperation. So it's good to know each other very well. Definitely. Yeah. And, and this is something that kind of comes with years of experience. It but, is. It but is. it's also very important to bring in newcomers and, and kind of spark the, yeah. The, yeah. the passion for this. Yes. Uh, and we are passionate, Helen. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> we are very passionate in this business. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, it, it's maybe not the, the, the sexiest of things, uh, staff mobility, ah. but uh, it's uh, definitely, yeah. I think, something that yeah. uh, really... If people participate in this, they, they, they go again if yeah. they can. So, uh, And I think it's it's extremely important that that the staff, it might be the teachers, the consultants, mm -hmm. the uh, whatever, management, mm -hmm. also that they take their time mm -hmm. even in a very busy daily Schedule, life yeah. to, to go abroad mm -hmm. because things are happening when you go abroad. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing is actually also that you get a look at yourself. Yes. You really, you, you look out and, and you what you see mm -hmm. is, is what you see, but also you have a look at yourself yep. and find out where are we in this mm -hmm. business and how do we actually do this. Exactly. And another thing is also that, that 
they will act as, you know, multipliers in having students mm. sent out because exactly. they are also the key mm. group here that mm-hmm. we have to focus on. Mm-hmm. So they, they will promote and they will support mm. also the students when they come back because they have new partners mm-hmm. out there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a really important uh, factor, this multiplier effect, because when we send uh, a staff, a professional, a trainer uh, abroad, he comes back with a positive message and he will encourage his learners Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or students or apprentices to to, to experience this. So definitely. Um, I think also uh, it's maybe important to tell our listeners um, Uh, how can they learn more about staff mobility? And we have created a web page, uh, Mobinoff. So if yes. you Google Mobinoff, it yeah. should come up. You will uh, find us. You will find us. Yes. And there we have collected about 30 examples mm-hmm. of staff mobility. Yeah. Uh, trips that uh, from our partners uh, from Catalonia, uh, Austria, Denmark, Iceland, and France, France yeah. have uh, experienced. There are good examples, and there you can find in contact information yes. as well. Yeah, and you can find it. Take it as an example. Mm-hmm. Take it as examples on what is possible in this network, and reach out because there's a lot of contact information. If you find something that could be of of interest for you, mm-hmm. for your staff, mm-hmm. and for your colleagues, so see it as an inspiration. Mm. It's not written in stone that no. this is the only thing that can happen, but it's more like, oh, this sounds like an interesting institution yeah. that I would like to visit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, really so it's a call of, yeah. of digging in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, Lena, do you think there's um, a final message here that we would like to share? I think that you and I, Helen, have been in this business for so long (laughs) that we for sure can say that it broadens your horizon if you leave your country and go out and and see things. You come back with inspiration. Your students come back a little different. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is what we really would like to bring out to our audience today. Leave and learn. Leave and learn. Yeah, I think that's really a nice way to round this up. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.